good morning to all now uh, due to some problem in yesterday's class uh, due to some internet problem i'm going to discuss about this one again today uh, this is the lecture 5 on power system engineering one myself sridhar marichetti and uh, previously we have discussed uh, some of the topics like this is uh, we have discussed about the reduction of capacitance in a transmission line and uh, we have discussed about the potential difference uh, between two conductors in a group of parallel conductors also we have discussed about the capacitance of a two wire line and the capacitance of a three wire line in this uh, uh, and this uh, previous lecture summary was like this uh, the potential energy charged a single conductor v a is equal to q by 2 pi epsilon naught la natural logarithm infinity minus natural logarithm of r that one we already know about it and the potential at a charged conductor in a group of charged conductors is uh, uh, van is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught uh, q1 natural logarithm of 1 by r plus q2 natural logarithm of 1 by d1 and so on and the capacitance of a three phase overhead lines uh, in unsymmetrical space with transpose conductors uh, the capacitors can be written as uh, 2 pi epsilon by la natural logarithm of q root of d1 d2 d3 by r and this one we have seen in our past class if d1 equal to d2 equal to d3 then the capacitance is equal to 2 pi epsilon by la natural logarithm d by r now see uh, uh, this in this class we are going to discuss about effect of earth see in the last classes we have uh, not uh, uh, taken the effect of earth on the capacitance of a single capacitance of a single phase or three phase and in this class we are going to discuss about the effect of earth and the capacitance of a double circuit line uh, also there are again I, I as I already informed you uh, there are two kinds of uh, uh, configurations of a three phase overhead line one is flat type other one is a symmetrical type we are going to discuss both about the flat type and symmetrical type and also we will discuss about some of the mathematical concepts such as uh, GMR and GMT See, as you know already that see, uh, about this uh, capacitance uh, even though but I am just once again telling you the capacitance in the sense if you observe the first point one whatever I am highlighting if two parallel plates the plate one and plate two if two parallel plates are separated by small distance d then it is called the uh, if two parallel plates are two charged plates this is charged these two charged plates are separated by distance d then it is called the capacitor the between the media is called the dielectric media and the dielectric media you may take it as a air or paper or whatever you want you can take the dielectric media since i am telling because the, if you consider about the transmission system this one plate consists of a one transmission line other plate consists of other transmission line if uh, these two transmission lines are carrying power and it, the charge will be surrounded its and these two charged plates are separated by distance in this the dielectric media is air hence the capacitance effect will be there here so that is the reason why i have uh, uh, kept here and uh, the media the media has a property called um, per, uh, uh, that is called permittivity 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 is defined as the the property of the material to which it allow the uh, allow the electric lines of force Although the electric lens of force is called the permittivity of the material. So the basic definition of the capacitor can be written as Q is equal to C into P, where C is the capacitance, V is the voltage applied, or potential applied, Q is the charge. Now if we go to next slide, sir. In the next slide, uh, as you know already, in the next slide, potential and a single charged conductor. Here, I have taken a simple conductor. This conductor, here, here I have taken a simple conductor. Here I have taken a simple conductor. This conductor is uh, A having the radius R from the center. In the same way, the, uh, from the point P I am taking here, 
since there is some problem with this pen so I'm not using the pen again here instead I can use the board here if you observe yes in this one you, you can see I have just taken a conductor A the conductor A the potential on a conductor A the conductor A has radius from 0 to R from its 0 in the sense it is the center to R and the charge Q uh, will be surrounded on the conductor A the electric field intensity of the conductor A can be written as E is equal to Q by 2 pi epsilon naught epsilon x into R this is the only one formula we are following throughout since from the last lecture the relative permittivity of the air is equal to n1 since this will become E is equal to Q by 2 pi epsilon naught x so the potential can be written as from R to infinity because the charge on the conductor may be due to infinite distance so integral R to infinity Q by 2 pi epsilon naught dx uh, if you take Q by 2 pi epsilon naught uh, integral over to R to infinity 1 by x dx natural logarithm of 1 by x dx is equal to natural logarithm of x and substituting the limits you will get a Q by 2 pi epsilon natural logarithm of x is uh, over the limits of a and uh, r to infinity so you can find the potential is equal to like this and if you go for the same way now if you So uh, we are considering here the effect of uh, effect of earth uh, on the effect of earth, the capacitance of single phase overhead line. Here we have considered a single phase overhead line, single phase uh, having uh, two charged conductors. Uh, we are assuming a two charged conductors, the conductor A and the conductor B. These two charged conductors are separated by distance d, and uh, each uh, conductor having radius r. The, char the charged conductor A consisting of charge Q over its surface and charge B consists of over its surface minus Q and the imaginary forms of A and B as taken as minus uh, A1 and B1 the distance between the earth, earth is taken as zero potential the distance between H to center of the conductor is H and the distance between um, earth to below this conductor due to its imaginary form is H so the total distance from one conductor to other conductor is 2H I have taken so the similar procedure will follow QBA and equal to integral R to infinity because if you consider here uh, a conductor A and the conductor B so for the effect of conductor A only is uh, the, the the potential at conductor A is due to the conductor A dash and due to the conductor B dash and conductor B hence I have taken integral R to infinity Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into the distance between A to B is D so hence D to infinity minus Q by 2 pi epsilon naught into DX and the distance between a to a dash is 2h so integral 2h over minus q by 2 pi naught dx plus the distance between a to b dash by using Pythagoras theorem this side is 2h this side is d square root of 2h square plus d square hence and if you know this one and this is very simple to follow it up and you can see uh, my previous like you can see the lecture which I have given in Taxila so you can uh, find out this one similarly the same problem uh, this is very simple and uh, for capacitance of a double circuit line since I have taken the capacitance here 3, uh, here I have found the 3 conductors, conductor A, conductor B, conductor C and these 3 uh, double circuit so conductor A, conductor B and conductor C and these uh, are separated by distance D1 and uh, conductor the distance from B to C is also D1 and the conductor distance between C to A is D2 hence uh, this is same procedure will follow the conductor A is 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught Q1 the distance between A to B, A to C is a D, 2D1 and D to A, D to B, D to C all these things will, uh, will follow the same procedure and here also very simple this is symmetrical form and here also the same procedure the concepts of GMD, GMR will come into role again here this is very important concept uh, mm. So now uh, I am going to discuss about the capacitance of a double circuit three phase overhead line of a symmetrical type. Here I have considered the uh, conductor A, B, C are separated by distance D, D 
and the conductor A dash B dash are also separated by distance dt and the conductor A has the over its surface the charge Q one conductor B over surface charge Q two conductor C has a charge Q three and the same way conductor A B C also small A B small B is also having their respective charges Q one and Q two Q three now if I want to find out the potential charged A due to charge B charge C charge uh, small A charges small uh, means the potential on conductor A due to conductor B conductor C and small conductor A small conductor B and con small conductor C just I am following a simple processor as, as simple as that suppose I have taken V A and 1 by 2 pi epsilon Q1 so the charge on A is Q1 integral the, in, uh, the from center point of conductor A to its uh, uh, surface is R so integral R to infinity 1 by x dx and uh, charge B is Q2 1 by the distance between A to B is uh, D so hence I have taken D to infinity 1 by dx plus and uh, Q3 the charge on conductor C is Q3 so the distance between A to C is Q square root of 3 into D so integral square root of root 3 into D 1 by x dx plus and on small a the distance between A to small a is 2D integral 2D to infinity 1 by x dx plus and small b the charge on small b is Q2 so the charge is root 3D into infinity 1 by x dx plus integral D to again small c is integral D to infinity Q3 1 by x dx. So 1 by 2 pi epsilon if you take common Q1 a natural logarithm of infinity. So you know already this formula integral over 1 by x is equal to natural logarithm of infinity minus natural logarithm. So if you follow the same procedure you will get this equation as 1 by 2 pi epsilon Q1 into natural logarithm of 1 by 2 dr plus Q2 into natural logarithm of 1 by root 3 d square plus Q3 into natural logarithm of 1 by root 3 d square. Since we know Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 is equal to 0, I have substituting Q2 plus Q3 is equal to minus Q1. Since I have a lateral logarithm of 1 by root 3 d square is common, Q2 plus Q3 is equal to minus, uh, minus Q1. If I substitute this value, I will get the capacitance as C is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught natural logarithm root 3 by R. In the same way, you can find out for uh, Vbn, Vcn, V small a a dash n, small b b dash n, small c n. So this is processor but in order to find out this kind of processor is hectic so in order to reduce those kinds of we are going for mathematical concepts of GMR and GMD hence GMR and GMD I have already discussed with you just I am giving a brief glimpse about it here so suppose if I take if I take a double circuit line phase R phase Y phase B and phase R dash phase Y dash and phase B dash and having the radius from a center to here is small r and it is uh, so this uh, and the distance between r to y is d1 distance between y to b is d1 distance between b to r dash is d2 so i am following the simple procedure gmr for phase r is due to its over radius due to same phase so gmr will be considered for its for, for same phase only if it is r phase we will consider for r phase only if it is y phase we will consider for y phase if it is b phase we will consider for b phase so gmr for r phase the effect on r phase is r phase is due to its own radius r r due to its r dash r r dash due to and r dash due to its own r da r r dash r dash due to its other phase r so total four atoms so we, we should write fourth root of d r r due to its own d r r due to its r dash due to its r dash r dash and due to its r dash r so this is the thing d r r internal radius is r d r dash r dash is also r so if you by using Pythagoras rule again that this is d2 d1 d1 plus d1 2 d1 whole square plus d2 whole square so that is the thing d2 2 d1 whole square plus d2 square dr dash r dash also the same rule so the, this is the same uh, will be applicable for y and b phases so finally the self gmd because they are using a bundle conductor or double circuit line we are using cube root of gmr of r phase gmr of y phase and gmr of b phase so the in case of GMD also the same Q root of GMD of R phase, GMD of Y phase, GMD of B phase. So GMD is between different phases. So I'm just calculating uh, a simple problem for you. Therefore, you can easily get everything. So the problem is like this: there are six conductors of a double circuit transmission line R Y B small R dash Y dash B dash, and the diameter of each conductor is 2.5 centimeters. So if it is diameter, we should take radius R is equal to 2.5 by 2. And the frequency is 50 hertz, voltage is 132 kb, that line is transposed, effect of earth is neglected and the capacitance formula 2 pi epsilon naught by natural logarithm dm by ds since and I already told you how to bring this formula. So hence we are taking the dm is a mutual gmd, ds is a self gmr or self gmd. So as we have already calculated the self gmd formula cube root of dsr dsy dsb. So dsr is self gmd of r phase is 4th root of drr drr dash drr dash r dr dash r dash same way 
for y phase, same be for b phase. Cal we need to calculate and substitute the value in the ds. In the same way, if we go for uh, mutual GMD between R phase R to Y, Y to B, B to R. So DRY is equal to fourth root of between R to Y, R to Y, DRY, the distance between R to Y, R Y dash, again R dash Y, R, R dash Y dash. So this is simple again the following the same rule, the distance between R Y, DRY, DRY is equal to Four point the, here I have already told you the distance between y to y dash is nine meters, and distance between r to b is seven meters. So that the uh, midpoint is four point five. Here the midpoint is three point five. So if I am to find out this one, I will take the midpoint of four point five minus three point five plus four whole square. So this is the one dr dash. This is equal to r dash y dash also. So dr y is SMS procedure. So my nine minus one whole square plus four square. If you know this, the gr you, you can. Uh, same way for uh, y phase, same way for b phase and the dm you will find out. So instead of going for long derivation you can simply follow this procedure. This is called modified GMD method for the capacitor, uh, for the bundle conductors. So this is the class today and uh, the discussion is very simple. If you have listened my previous class that is power system lecture 4, power system lecture 5 is uh, uh, just uh, an extension to 4. So everything is same. Thank you for watching this.